hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about html entities and symbols so in html some of the characters are reserved like the less than symbol or the greater than symbol so the browser might mix them with the tags so we can use the character entity to display the reserved character in html now to display the entity we can either use entity name or we can use the entity number like an example to represent the less than symbol we can use the entity name so we have to write ampersand and then the entity name like lt and you can see by doing that we are printing the less than symbol onto the page similarly also to print the less than symbol we can use the entity number so we have to write ampersand then the hash and after that the entity number 60 for the less than symbol so in both the way we can either use the entity name or we can use the entity number and we can print the symbol onto the web page and there are another most commonly used entity in html is the non-breaking space a non-breaking space is a space that will not break into a new line. Like an example, we have the p tag. Now inside the p tag, we have the paragraph. Now we can use the non-breaking space. So we have to write ampersand nbsp. So by doing that, we are generating one non-breaking space that will not break into new line. So now we're going to take a look at the most useful character entity. So first we have the non-breaking space. So we can use the entity name as ampersand nbsp to have one non-breaking space. Similarly for the less than symbol we can use the ampersand lt. For greater than we can use the gt. For ampersand we can use ampersand amp. Similarly, for double quotation, we can use ampersand quote. For single quotation or apostrophe, we can use the ampersand apos. Similar way, we can use the entity name for different currency. Like for cent, we use the ampersand cent. For pound, we use ampersand pound. For yen, we use ampersand yen. For euro, we use ampersand euro. And for copyright, we use the ampersand copy. And for registered trademark, we use ampersand reg. So now we are going to talk about the HTML symbols. So many mathematical, technical, and currency symbols are not present on a normal keyboard. To add such symbol on the HTML page, we can either use the entity name or we can use the entity number. Like an example, to print the euro, we can use the ampersand euro to print the currency symbol of euro similarly also we can use the entity number so we have to write ampersand has and then the entity number 8364 for the euro currency so there are some entity name and we can use those entity name to print the mathematical symbol like an example to print the for all symbol we can use ampersand for all and to print the partial differential symbol we can use ampersand part similarly we can print the exist symbol for that we have to use ampersand exist and for the empty set we use ampersand empty for nebula we use the ampersand nebula similar way for the element of symbol we use ampersand isin or ampersand is in and for the not an element of symbol we use ampersand not in for the summation we use the ampersand sum and also there are some greek letter and they are supported by the html so we can use the ampersand alpha for the alpha ampersand beta for the beta symbol ampersand gamma to print the gamma symbol ampersand delta for the delta symbol ampersand epsilon for the epsilon symbol and we can use the ampersand zeta to print the zeta symbol so this is the way we can either use the entity name 
or we can use the entity number and we can print different symbols onto the web page so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you